Hey y'all, I'm back for another work day on the old Trail Manor camper. Um, I've actually already done the work, but somehow I lost the footage, so here I am. Uh, basically, <clears throat> it's wheel bearing time. I noticed on this side, um, I've got it jacked up higher than I normally do, so all the wheels are off the ground. But I noticed on this side before I started, I grabbed a hold of the wheel, and I could shake it back and forth and get a a loud clunking sound. I could tell the wheel bearings were loose. So, um, I gotta take everything apart and figure out what's going on. If I need wheel bearings or if something's just, uh, not tight. Hi, we're Ben and Angie. With our two kids, we're working hard to achieve our goals. We know that nothing in life comes easy and we are not afraid to get our hands dirty. We love exploring new places, foods, and projects. We look forward to trips across town and around the world. Follow along as we build an adventure. Alright, I got my air compressor pumped up. I got a light because it's getting dark. I got my impact driver. Ah. Sounds super weak. I'll have to see what my pressure's at. Um, and I think all the tools that I'm gonna need to do the whole job. So, step one is going to be take the wheel off. Whoa, I've always wanted to try that. Do you think it worked? Did it work? I think it worked. All right, so with that out of the way, I gotta pull this grease cap off. Um, and these are just kind of pressed on there. They just fit, so you way at least the only way I know how to get them off is to kind of pull on them and tap around the outside with a hammer and just work them out and they'll come off they will Popped right off. Cool. So now I should be able to take a crescent wrench, which this isn't big enough, but this is so loose that I can turn it by hand, which tells me that was my issue. Was that the bearings were just loose, but I'm gonna take them apart anyways, clean all the grease out of them, put repack them with fresh grease even though this has a little grease fitting right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take them apart and inspect them properly so I can really make sure that they're good. So this bearing appears to be in pretty decent shape. But one of the things you're gonna look for is if there's too much play this way, which there's gonna be some, but you don't want it to be able to fall apart. And then you're gonna, once you clean the, all the grease out of here, you're gonna wanna look for pitting from uh, like rust. Now my inside seal fell off inside there. So that's gonna to need to be replaced. Maybe just reinstall the bearing stayed on there. Same story where it looks all right. But I will clean all these parts up and properly inspect them tomorrow. Hey y'all, I'm back for day two. Um, the weather is kind of not great today. Angie's burning stuff again behind me, don't mind her. Um, I took the parts to work with me today and cleaned everything up real nicely. And I don't see any issues with any of these bearings or seals or anything. The only thing is this plug, which isn't gonna, but there it is. It's starting to dry, rot, and crack, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm gonna run with it for now. And all it does is go in the end of this dust cover. 
so you can pull that out and access the grease fitting on the end of the axle. But before I just throw this back together, I gotta pack the bearings with grease. Um, I didn't, I don't have the tool with me to pack it. So I'm gonna show you guys the old school way of doing it by hand. All right, so basically I've got regular chassis grease here. This is, this is the worst part, getting started. Because you just have to dig your hand in there and get a ball of that in the middle of your hand. So here we go. You want that right in the palm of your hand. You're gonna take your bearing you're gonna go from the larger side. These are called taper bearings, obviously because they're tapered. You're gonna go from the larger side. You're just gonna start scooping that right into there. And you're gonna keep working it in. And eventually, it's gonna start poking through the other side of the bearing, which I can already start to see it. You see, come on, focus right there where I worked it. It's already starting to poke through. So you do that all the way around till there's grease all the way inside of the bearing, and then you move on to the next one. So it's gonna be a minute. Now, if it'll focus, yeah, you can see how the grease is poking through all the way around, so that way you know that it is all around these bearings properly. So I can go ahead and drop this back in the hub and move on to the outer bearing. And you always do the inner one first because that holds a, you gotta have that dropped in the hub and then you put a seal on behind that. Put that seal on without the bearing inside there you're kind of screwed you gotta pull that seal back out so i'm gonna go ahead and drop this in the hub then i'll pack the other bearing then i'll clean my hands off then i'll put the seal in and reassemble the hub grease angie just walked up and saw me doing this thought my hand was all bloody nah. should have brought more rags all right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is reinstall this seal. Um, it looks to be in great shape still, so I'm not worried about replacing it. Um, a lot of the time what happens with these, why they come off, is because somebody has put a grease gun on the grease fitting and just pumped the entire hub full of grease and pushed this out the back. So I'm just gonna put it back on and it should be fine. So goes down there and if I had something nice and flat and round I would put it on top of here and tap this down but I don't have anything that'll fit inside there properly so I'm just gonna carefully use the back side of a hammer and I'm probably gonna have to put the camera down yeah definitely you have to put the camera Seal is installed nice and flush. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of the grease and go around this lip just so it'll slide on there easier. Um, don't forget to have the bearing inside there before you put the seal in. You will be upset with yourself. I know from experience. Um, so once this is ready to go, I can slide the hub back on the axle and put the outer bearing back in. Now you pretty much just reassemble it 
how it came apart with we've got this flat washer with a D shape in it which fits over our axle like that we've got the nut which I forgot to grab a wrench for but that will spin on you don't want to crank this down because once again we have those tapered roller bearings and the more you crank down on it the more load it puts on those bearings and it will if you put too much of a load on it they'll get really hot and burn up all your grease will turn to liquid and it will seize up I actually just used my vice grips because I just had to snug it down a little bit now got this little locking guy which fits over the axle like that and you've got to turn the nut so that those little legs on there go to the flat parts but this indention needs to go to the flat part on the axle so that'll keep the nut from backing off because this part will get locked to the axle and then the nut will be locked with this piece and everything will be awesome. So that guy's locked on there. So the nut can't back off and it can't spin. Everything turns nice and smooth and we don't have any more play. So the only thing left is the dust cover, which that literally just, I should put the seal in it first. All right, sorry guys, we are losing light fast, but anyways, that's on, dust seal's on there. Literally, I just gotta tap this on and put the wheel on and we're good. Now I will, later when I have my grease gun with me, pull this cap back off, pump grease into there and fill that cavity up a little bit better. But as it sits, it is perfectly safe to drive, at least to get up to my shop where I can grease it better. So I'm gonna tap that on, go inside because the mosquitoes are coming out. <laughs> All right, y'all, I got the project all wrapped up. Um, the other side was nice and tight, so I'm not gonna worry about messing with that. Um, everything inside there looked really good, so I just put it back together and did it properly, at least the best way I know how to do it. Um, Angie, what are your thoughts? I feel a little um, like I shouldn't be in this video because I did none of the work. Yeah, but you're the pretty face of the show. I'm only editing the video, like putting music to it, and all that so I, I feel like don't you have peace of mind knowing that the wheel bearings are safe on the trailer I have been thinking a lot about wheel bearings she's lying she doesn't think about that stuff anyways guys we will catch you on the next one I guess right? catch you on the next one